afternoon from Baku. Good afternoon from Baku. It is uh, the, the second day of interviews, and next to us are now the uh, delegation from Hungary, Compact Disco. Hello, good a good evening, afternoon. Hello, hello. half of the Compact half Disco. Of the ah, where's the other half? They are doing the same way interviews in the other box. Ah, okay, you're splitting the whole yeah, group. Yeah, we are four of us, and, and we can save time to, to have more time to go out to the city. And so, can you introduce the group a little bit? Who is who in, in the Compact Disco? Uh, Chaba is the lead singer, Valko Chaba, he's not here. And uh, Pa Gabor is the keyboard player, he's also in the other box. Yeah, Beggy is, uh, is uh, doing sampling and grooves. And he is Attila doing the bass guitar, who lost his bass guitar yesterday in Istanbul. But it's finally arrived. <laughs> yeah. it's oh, okay. finally arrived today. <laughs> That's um, it's nice to meet you again because uh, we were lucky to be in Budapest. When yeah, we, we remember you. We oh, remember thank you. you. It was really nice to, to be part of the national selection. How has it been since you won? Because that was in February. In, yeah, end of, January, end of January, beginning of February, and from that time we just traveling all around. We just uh, go to all the neighbor countries. We doing lot of interviews, radio shows, TV shows, even we go to Amsterdam and we were in London as well and last week we go to Israel uh, to doing promotion. We have a TV show in Israel. So I think we are on, on, the, on the road six days out of the week. Mm -hmm. So we just arrived here like we are really tired. But now I think we have one week to to build up everything and, 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 and prepare ourselves for the big evening. You had the uh, first rehearsal today on the stage. What was the feeling for you about uh, the whole setup to be there? Well, it was so amazing. I mean, the whole backup team, the technical guys, everyone just so professional. And it's a really good thing to be part of uh, a production like this. And we just we we're just talking about that if we go back to Hungary and play on <laughs> our usual stages, it will be so different. And we are just always looking for okay, where is the sound engineer? Okay, where is the ear monitoring guy? Okay, where is my monitoring room? <laughs> where is my monitoring room? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It, it was it was amazing. In the national final in Hungary, Kati Wolf was in the jury. Yes. She was at the Eurovision last year. Yes. Did you tell you anything special about Eurovision, how you should go through these two weeks? She just told us only one sentence uh, to be ourselves on the stage and that's it. To give as much as we are and don't try to do anything else because that won't be uh, an honest thing. So that's it. So your life has changed quite a lot since you won. Are you big celebrities in Budapest now when you are walking around in the streets? Chava, the, the singer is the big, big celebrity in Hungary. But we also, yeah, we are, uh, we, are yeah. we are recognized. I mean, I just for for an example, I just had a big party in my flat, and when, <laughs> when the security guys just come up uh, knocking on my door and said. First of all, I'd like to congratulations for your uh, for, for your band and for the Eurovision. And secondly, please be quiet because your neighbors want to uh, ask me to call the police. But I, yeah. I won't call the police because I really like you and like your music. But please, just be quiet, a bit quiet, <laughs> like this. So it means that even if you are known, you should uh, be aware when you are closing the party. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Sound of Our Hearts is the song that you are singing at the Eurovision Song Contest this year. Uh, who created the song? Who, who wrote it and what inspired that? Well, when we start to do a track, uh, the melody is always coming from uh, our singer Chaba. And, and then the lyrics is uh, uh, written by the keyboard player. And all the rest, we do everything together, like, like the uh, composing the, the sound and everything so this track was already in the package for like two years but we don't we don't start to work on it and, and like like finish it and when when we had the idea to 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 try the Eurovision we just pick out this track from from the from the others and and, and finished it and we just feel that if you now nowadays you look around you see that 
many things just going on the on the wrong way, and and you can be much more happier and you have a better life if you started like with little things to take care of the people who is surrounding you or, or near you, mm -hmm. uh, because we are all the same. I mean, doesn't matter what color you are, doesn't matter. Uh, what religion you are so it was a it was a really interesting situation because I born in Iran so I'm a Persian okay. and last mm -hmm. week I was in Israel in Tel Aviv and in our band there is a Jewish guy there's a two Christian guy and me so three different religion in one band in harmony in, in full uh, uh, good uh, Vibe and, and yeah, everything yeah. is just so perfect. And our example could be a good message for everyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but compact disco, uh, the, the name. How did you get that one? How how did you find this name? It was just a joke because uh, uh, when we start the first uh, uh, album, we record the first album. The first uh, album was uh, inspired by the music of 80s, the electro pop of the 80s, of course, mixed up with, with new sounds. And we're just talking about what happened in the 80s with the music business, which was a big thing. And now we find out, yeah, the CD, the compact disc is just coming out, a whole new uh, platform for music. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, let's be compact disco. And that's it. So in about five years time you're changing it to MP3s. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was wanted to come back to the to the stories I would say in your song because I have seen your video yes. and uh, I assume that you also try to reflect these uh, different kinds of lifestyles yes. in, in the video. Yes. And it's the same guy who has the, the main same role. Guy, yes. Yeah. Yes. One on one minute he's very rich and the next yes. minute he is uh, very very poor. Uh, what is the reaction on that video? Well, uh, as may you know, we have a non-official video of the track where we uh, make a slideshow from all the things that happened in 2011, like uh, riots and, and, and natural mm. catastrophe uh, mm -hmm. things. The people like more that one because it's so much easier to be sorry about someone in Japan from Hungary. Mm. But when you see a story uh, which can happen with you, or it can be your neighbor, or it can be you, then they don't like it really. So mm -hmm. we, are, we just we just find out if you if you if you show a mirror to someone that that maybe you are on the wrong way, mm -hmm. then they they don't like it so much. But we got really good feedbacks near that one, so I think. I think we do something which uh, which uh, make the people talk about it, and that's a good thing. Good, good thing. 